Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. We will draw the skull of the beluga whale today. The skull of the beluga whale is slender and elongated, which is quite different from its round head. When drawing, we should pay attention to the relationship between its skull and the soft tissue wrapped outside. Like most cetaceans, the skull of the beluga whale slopes downward. Let's first draw a dotted line to represent the midline of the skull. Then, let's draw the position of its eyes. In front of the eyes, the orbit extends forward to connect to the maxilla. Behind the eyes, the frontal bone extends backward and connects to the bones at the back of the skull, which is narrow at the top and wide at the bottom. Moving forward, we draw its cheekbones. After that, let's draw its mouth. Its mouth is composed of two bones. One is the very slender maxilla. The maxillary teeth are all concentrated in the front half. Note that the teeth in the front of the upper jaw are slanted forward. Above the maxilla is its nasal bone. Another bone in its mouth is the mandible. The mandible teeth start a little more forward than those on the upper jaw. Its lower jaw is relatively narrow in front and suddenly widens from the middle. This is the skull of a beluga whale. Next, let's simply sketch the outline of its head based on the skull, so that we can better understand its head anatomy. Let's first pinpoint its blowhole, and then outline the top of its head. It has a highly raised forehead. A thick layer of fat wraps the lower part of its lower jaw, making it look very stout. Good like this, we've finished drawing the skull of the beluga whale.